Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Visio. In this module, we're going to look at a basic floor plan for your house. Here's an example of a floor plan of a house. In this session, we're going to focus on this area, which actually is my garage. I had my garage converted into an office many years ago, and I used Visio for the builders as their guide. So we're going to recreate this bit. So I'm going to do Control N to get myself a new diagram and I'm going to bring on a wall. Now the wall itself in my house is 7.5 meters by 2.5. I'll zoom that in so we can see it. So there's the outside area of my garage and utility. So there are several doors I need to put into position. There's a door into the um, outside which I need to flip because it's not in the right place so that is okay there and then I need to change that again like that. that's how that door opens it opens against that wall there now I need to bring a door into the kitchen which again sits there and I need to flip that door because that's that opens the other way that's the correct way, the door opens that way, that's correct. And I have a dividing wall between the utility area and the rest of the garage, which sits like that, 2.5. And in there, there is a door also, which I need to flip because that is not in the right position. And I need to flip that again because it's that's the correct position. The door opens like that. Now windows, there are two windows. There's one at the front, which is not 900, it's 1200 centimeters. And the one at the back is just a standard 900 centimeter window. 900 millimeter window now if that is the outside structure now there is another dividing wall in the middle of the garage which was a mistake when i first did this because i didn't measure it correctly and there isn't enough space for a door so this gap wasn't wide enough for a door so i'm left just with um, a wall and a gap However, it's still okay. Now, that is the outside structure. I'm going to highlight all of this. And I'm going to create a layer. So I'm going to assign to layer, create new one. I'll call it um, garage. Okay. Okay to that. And then I'm going into layer properties and I'm going to lock it. So now I've created that layer that is set in stone. Now I can add my furniture and I have already created a stencil with some furniture in it. So I'm just going to open that stencil. It's called Household. It's already open on a different diagram, but there you go. So I've populated this with some of the features that I want to use. Basically, what you do is you just search for items that you think you might need. So I've typed in there, for example, TV, and then it brings you TVs. And I'll just pull that onto the screen for a minute. There's an old fashioned TV. If I close the search box down, I can then add this TV to my stencil and call it TV one, because I've already got one TV in here. And then that's part of my stencil. I would save that and then that would be available if I'm doing any other floor plans. But for now, let's just bring in um, a fridge. So I have a fridge that sits there. Spin that round so it's facing the right way. And just move it. Yeah, it's not exactly against the wall. There's a gap there for all the wires and stuff. Um, I have a dryer that sits here. Let's spin that round. And then just move it in 
like that. And then a washer also is under the window. Spin that round so the washer is facing forwards. And move that into position there. So that's the utility area. Now, in the actual area that was an office, it was like this. I had a large sofa, three-seater, against that back wall, like so. And on this wall, on the facing wall, there was a TV, like so. I also had a small table. Now this table, at the moment, is bigger than the one I had, so mine was 800 by 400 measurements. And then that was facing like so in front of the sofa. And then this area I had a second sofa, a two-seater sofa, which faced the window like so, and a, a bigger table, which was 600 by 900, like so. Now, you can see that I've got this size and position um, box on the screen, which is quite useful when you're trying to fit furniture into a floor plan. Um, you need to know what the size of the furniture is, the measurements, before you start putting them in here. Otherwise, they won't fit. It's like trying to get a large sofa through a door. The door's not wide enough. This is an outside door, so it's quite wide. So is that. That is an outside door. That is quite wide. And this one is actually a fire door, and that's quite wide. But internally in my house, the doors are a lot narrower. So a large sofa like that would struggle to get through the door. So you would need to measure the sofa and the doors to see whether you can get them in. But basically, that is how I created the floor plan for my garage conversion. And the builders followed this almost to the T. And the mistake I made was I didn't put a door in there, in there. I left that gap and the builder did exactly what I said. And afterwards I looked at that and I thought, hmm, should have put a door there or not even had that wall there at all because this room can become quite dark in winter. The light is in this area, so it doesn't shine through into that area. But that is the end of this module. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for your time.